Uh, hello and welcome uh, to this project. Uh, so first, let's take a look uh, at uh, what we are going to build. So this is the home page. So once the user is here, so he needs uh, to register and log in uh, to use uh, our services. So let's start and register a new user. Submit. And once uh, the account is created successfully, so now we can uh, log in. So let's log in. And as you can see here, we have uh, our dashboard. So we can create a QR code. So now we have uh, no QR codes. Uh, so once the user is registered, so he has uh, five uh, QR codes uh, for free. So he can create uh, five uh, QR codes uh, for free. And once uh, QR codes here or the free QR codes uh, is uh, zero, so he needs uh, to subscribe uh, to a plan. Okay, so let's take a look. So once we click on create QR code, so we can create a QR code, submit, uh, and once uh, created, so here we have our QR code, we have the content, uh, the user can download uh, the QR code uh, and also can update. Uh, so let's see first the image of uh, or the download QR code. Uh, and also, as I said, so he can update uh, the QR code. And every time he adds uh, or updates a uh, QR code, so the number of uh, QR codes here is uh, decrementing, okay? So as you can see here, so now we have only three. So if we create another one again, so let's try to create another one, submit. Uh, so now we have, uh, let's see what we have here. So we have two, let's try to update again. So submit. Uh, and we have now one. Also, as I said, we can delete the QR code. So let's uh, update again. So let's hit submit. Uh, and now, as you can see, we have zero so if we try to create a qr code again so we will be redirected to the plan so here we need to choose a plan so we have the starter with 100 qr codes we have the full qr codes with 500 and super full with 1000 and each plan has a monthly subscription amount okay so if we choose this plan so here we have uh, the chosen plan and here we have the subscription form so let's provide the test card provided by stripe so security code zip code and hit uh, subscribe and once uh, the subscription is done successfully so as you can see here we have now 100 qr codes uh, and i can uh, create uh, a new qr code again so submit uh, and qr code added successfully we can also view our profile so here is named email and how many qr codes left and subscribe to plan starter so nine dollars per month and we can cancel at any time so if i click on cancel so the subscription cancelled successfully and now if we go back to our profile so we have no subscriptions okay so this is uh, the project uh, that we are going to create. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is to create uh, a new Laravel application. So I have already done this step. So don't uh, use uh, any starter. So we will do everything uh, manually. So no starter kit. 
and uh, that's all okay so we'll uh, create everything uh, manually so let's uh, first open the created project uh, and uh, let's start uh, with uh, the database so the first thing we need to do is to create uh, our models uh, and uh, migrations so let's see so here so i think i have opened all the projects okay so let's open only the created project uh, so here is uh, our project so let's start uh, as i said with the models and the migrations so the first model that we need uh, so make uh, model so let's call it uh, qr code and we need also the migration and for the controller so we we'll create it later also we need another one for plans and we need another one for subscriptions subscript subscription and uh, i think uh, that's all for now okay so let's move first to our database folder migration so let's start with users so here inside users so we need to add uh, some fields so as we have seen uh, in the demo so the user has a default uh, field which is uh, the number of QR codes. So we'll give him five uh, for free. Okay. So let's add this field. So let's copy, change it from. Uh, so let's make it. So let's make it integer. And name. Let's name it number of uh, of. Uh, number of uh, let's name it qr codes and as i said so the default value needs to be five okay so you will give him five qr codes for free so next we need another thing which is stripe id so using this field so we will know which uh, plan the user has subscribed to once we reach the payments using stripe so for now just follow me so add the string field so we give his name stripe id and this field needs to be null able and also unique okay so let's make it unique so now we have, as I said, so we have the default uh, fields uh, that comes with Laravel and we have added uh, this one, which is an integer, which is the number of QR codes. Uh, and also we give it five as default and we have uh, also the Stripe ID that we will need uh, once uh, we reach uh, the payment. Okay. So let's move to the next. So the next uh, we have the QR codes. So here. I think uh, we have only one uh, we have only one field uh, which is uh, not one field but we have more than one field let's copy so let's add first one which is text uh, and here we have the contents the contents of the QR code and also we need another one which is string and this one will hold the QR code QR code but so once the user creates the QR code and wants to download it, uh, so we will use uh, this uh, field to store the path. Okay, and this field needs to be null able. So next, uh, what we have, we have another field which is the foreign ID for the user, the user who created QR code. So foreign ID. And let's uh, give his name user ID and uh, constrained, constrained, and what else? Cascade on the let, cascade on the let. So that's all we have the content. We have the QR code 
path and we have also the foreign id which is the user id but i think we have here an extra id so let's remove it so as i said we have foreign id which is the user id constrained and cascade on the let okay so let's move uh, to the next one which is the plans so here inside the plans so we have uh, so let's copy so we have the first field uh, which is the name so each plan will have name and what else we have uh, so we have uh, another field which is an integer which is the number of uh, qr codes so each plan has number of uh, qr codes okay and also we have another field uh, which is uh, the price and field here is integer and also we have another field uh, which is the price id and i will tell you later why we need uh, this price id so for now just add it and later i will tell you why we need this price id so we have the name the number so i think here integer so integer so you have the name we have uh, the number of qr codes we have the price and we have the price id okay so next uh, what we have so we have uh, the subscription so here we will store the subscription so once the user subscribe to a plan so we will store the details here so what we need so we need first uh, another or field uh, the type of the field here is string so this one will start stripe uh, subscription stripe uh, subscription id so you will store stripe subscription id and this field needs to be unique and next we have uh, another one which is uh, so we can use stripe uh, uh, we can use stripe status to know if the plan or if the subscription is still active or has been uh, deleted or uh, has been uh, cancelled not deleted so we will delete so once the user cancel uh, subscription so we will delete it so you can know using this field uh, if uh, the subscription is still active or cancelled okay so next what we have we have another field which is also string and this field will hold stripe plan id so we will also add plans inside our stripe account okay so we will see that in action later also we need time stamp time stamp and this field will hold the current so we'll name it current period start so current period start means when, when the subscription has started okay and this field is null able okay and also we need another one for the ending so and and so here current period starts so here current period end okay and same thing so this field is null able so here let's move to the next so next we have the foreign id let's uh, let's we can bring it from the so from the not plans but from the qr codes we can copy from here and use the same thing here so we need the, the first one is the user and the second one is the plan id okay so we will know which user and which plan he has subscribed to okay so you can make it here only single codes okay so let's see what we have here so as i said we have stripe subscription id status of the subscription if it is active uh, or has been cancelled uh, by the user 
but in our case uh, once the user cancel the subscription so we remove it so no need to keep it inside our database so since it was uh, cancelled okay so if you want you can add this field if you don't want you can uh, remove it but just uh, if you want later to so if you want later to update the project and make it uh, bigger so you can use uh, this field uh, to check if uh, the subscriptions are uh, cancelled or still active also here as i said we have the plan id so we will add the plans also inside stripe we have the current period starts which means which which means the date uh of the subscription starting date of the subscription and here the ending date of the subscription we have also the foreign case for the user id and plan id okay so let's see what we have next so next uh, i think that's also you don't have anything uh left so what we need to do now is uh, to run our migrations so let's clear the terminal and php artisan uh, migrate and hit enter so let's type yes uh, and everything uh, is done successfully so now we have uh, migrated all the tables so uh, what we need now we need to move uh, to the model relationships.